We are down here on the driving range of the BMW International Open for a pretty special digital golf clinic. Now, this is all about you guys back at home. So get in all of your questions from distance off the tee, the world of golf and everything in between. Now, the two men answering all of your questions. We are an absolute fine company this afternoon. None other than European Tour star and 2016 Ryder Cupper, Rafa Cabrera Bayo. It is a pleasure to have you here. And of course, coach to all the stars, so well acknowledged around the world, Mr. David Ledbetter. Thank you guys so very much. What one tip could you give some amateurs about how to get more distance off the tee? The ability to wind up and coil is so important with the driver. What happens with so many amateurs, they don't finish their backswing, they cut it off and then they start down with their arms. The whole thing is to use your body correctly. So a little bit of flexibility, so it's important as you get older to get that, you know, get to do a little flexibility. You know, you don't have to run around in a leotard or anything, do yoga, but you need to, a couple of stretching exercises, which maybe Rafa will allude to a little later on, but being able to wind up and finish that backswing. Jack Nicklaus always said he used to complete his backswing. If you can complete your backswing, you've got a good chance of maximizing your power. I mean, the one, the one thing, if you look at Rafa, he's got fantastic rhythm. It, it goes right through his bag from his wedges, and that's one thing he's never lost, and it's one thing we've always encouraged him to maintain, is that rhythm. And What is the most important basic tip that you would give to an amateur, and that you give to your players when they're out on the road and working on the driver? Well, remember, we're dealing with different animals here. We're dealing with supreme athletes, okay? So these players don't have quite the same faults that your 24 handicapper would have. But for most amateurs, I promise you, if they could work on their grip, because most golfers, they have the grip up in the palm, and 99% and of them, this, and this ruins any sort of good move in the swing, and it creates so much tension. So what I would suggest, most people need to put the club down towards the fingers so they can actually feel how the club can actually set and hinge. So without doubt, it's the biggest fault in golf. And you watch Raf when he sets up to the ball, and he's not, he hasn't got a loose grip, he's got a light grip. Something like, I would say, out of 10, if 10 was really tight, you want to be about a five. And the big thing is to keep your arms relaxed, because if you're tense here, your whole swing is going to be controlled by your arms rather than the arms and the body working together. Remember? Yeah, obviously, ball is uh, certainly uh, more forward. You want the, the ball to be uh, ahead of the lowest point of your swing so that actually you can hit upwards uh, without any uh, I mean without it being too difficult right uh, and then also the biggest change I feel with the driver it's just it's a slightly flatter and more round swing as opposed to maybe more vertical and more uh, into the ground with the with the with the irons and and especially short irons completes his backswing starts with his lower body stays behind it and womb how do you create maximum distance on your drive? Okay, I mean, I, the idea, I agree with everything that David was saying. Uh, some very common mistakes is just people just tense over the ball and start gripping the, the club like if they wanted to strangle it. And all that really does is take away speed. So it's, it's finding the combination of, of going at it stronger, uh, but you're not, the word stronger doesn't, doesn't really apply. You just want to go at it faster. Uh, which doesn't necessarily mean that you have to grip uh, grip it stronger. Basically, what you really need to is make sure you make a big full turn as wide as you can, and then just load on the on on the left leg and then let it go. But not not try to not try to rush it from the top because that changes a little bit the dynamics of the swing. It's wide swing, a kind of a gentle pause so that it gives you time to change and shift the weight, and then really uh, try to swing your arms as fast as you can. You do slightly different here for the more uh, advanced players. Correct. Then normally I try to keep it simple. If I want to hit a, a little bit of a draw, what I'll just do is change my my alignment. My alignment. So I will uh, orientate my body a little bit further right, uh, just so that my my swing line uh, gets the ball starting the round and then more from into out. From into out. Correct. Yeah. Uh, and then just adjust the club face. So I will get my club face aiming to where I want to finish. So if I want to okay. start this one. Uh, to the right, uh, my body is oriented to the right, but the club face will be shut or closed in relation to my body, but it will be uh, aiming at the, at the final target. Okay. But then besides that, it's little more that I, that I really try to, try to do. I just try to swing the same, but having altered the... And have a good picture in your mind of a draw. Correct. Yeah. Rafa, I should really give you the honours of announcing who has won this signed Titleist driver. Go okay. on. Well, uh, all the way from the Philippines. Thanks a lot for watching. I don't know what time it is over there, but uh, Edwin Perez. I hope I said your name wrong. Your name <laughs> right, sorry. Uh, 
from the Philippines. Congratulations. Yes. Good work, Let Edwin. Okay, Rafa, it's, it's now time to sign it. Sign it live so we know that it is a genuine article of Rafa Cabrera Bayo. Can we hold that for you? Yep. There it is. There we go. Now, Take as long a as he look at that. Middle, that yeah. signature will be there forever. <laughs> Take a look at that. No excuses now, Edwin. You should be driving it like an absolute champion. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Yeah. We really Up appreciate your time. Thanks, and the viewers at home, I'm sure, have picked up so many tips. And thank you for watching at home, wherever you are in the world. We appreciate all of your comments, all of your questions. So for the rest of, of the week, just enjoy the golf here at the BMW International Open. And we'll see you next time.